This is the Subtomic Storm, the best IEM in the world according to many people. And today we're going to compare it to some of the highly acclaimed IEMs like the Loki, the Evo, as well as an endgame headphone this time like the LCD X. And we'll let you guys know if any of these are actually worth it or, you know, they're just all overpriced. This is Sam. This is Hang. And this is Max. You guys all know Max. Hello. Levin can't be here because uh, he got some stuff to do. And then we got the cat. So Just chilling over what, here. Your tips? The best part of the video. The best, yes, yes. What do you think of the LCDX from an IEM user? Uh, I think in terms of like pure enjoyment, yeah. these are my favorite so far. It's way more open. Yeah. I feel like every all the vocals and like all the, the different like tracks have room to breathe. In terms of like, if I'm looking at like resolution and stuff, I honestly can't tell a huge difference. This oh, one is okay. more just like pinpointing it. Uh, the imaging, is, the imaging is, is, is really good. What do you think of the bass compared to your Monarchs? Uh, it's definitely a little bit blunted. Like it's oh, not okay. it's not as like um, punchy in the bass. And again, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of know the price of these <laughs> yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I first listened to them, I thought they were kind of sitting somewhere around you know 800, 900 bucks. I could feel like my neck. Oh, dude, hurt. it's so heavy, like, bro. Like, like he was he was telling me about like how he when he first got this like his neck was hurting when he was working. You know? <laughs> it just it's falls like, off. It feels like it's gonna fall. Yeah, off. that's why I return all my headphones because it's like <laughs> I just I just can't like I can't use them for more than an hour. And then lie down when I listen to music, so it's okay, not possible. Good luck listening. It's not to possible. Music. You can't good lie down. Luck. No. <laughs> So I'm listening to like live uh, <coughs> recorded music. This is unbeatable. I agree, unbeatable. the sound stage is insane. Yeah, on the sound stage is insane and it feels like whenever the drum plays, like you can hear the snare with the, like, the power and the bass when the hi-hat closes and opens. Yeah. It feels like it's opening and closing, like in real life. I think this is the closest match you can get to listening to live music. I mean, it just feels so natural. Yeah. You can like hear where the piano is, where the drum is. I think, okay. uh, I think this is 2K. 2K? This is 2K. I'll say 2K, yeah. I was genuinely surprised at how good the LCD X was. Like from an IEM perspective, it kind of blew my mind in the staging. It's like a night and day difference when you compare it to even some of the, like, the best IEMs like the Loki, the Storm, the head stage, it just feels so much more open, like even bigger than the Storm. It's just noticeably bigger. Like Max said, it goes super hard with live tracks or just like jazz and instrumentals. You, you feel like you're there in the audience. Now the bass is obviously not going to be as rumbly and impactful like Sam mentioned. You know, compared to his Monarch, the Mark III's are still better in the rumble and in the overall slam. But you know, the overall consensus was that the bass was fine for the most part. The decay was very fast, it was very punchy, and you know, it never got in the way of all the other frequencies. And in terms of detail and resolution compared to the other 1K plus IEMs, you know, aside from the Storm, the Storm is obviously going to be the most detailed. The LCD X is actually like right up there with the Loki and the Monarchs and the Helio SC. Very close with the other contenders and just overall, if it wasn't for the fit and the weight, I would actually get like the LCD X as a quote unquote end game, just you know, audio gear in general. The only reason why I won't get it is because number one, it costs almost 2k and number two, it really comes down to your personal use case. So I listen to music lying down, so there's gonna be no way in hell I'm gonna be able to use the LCDX without like breaking it or making the sound just like sound off because the ergonomics and physics are kind of off because you're, you're just lying down, right? And it's just super uncomfortable for long periods of time. It's very heavy. It doesn't clamp as hard as some of the other headphones I tried but it does get sweaty as like you use it more and more and more. Not as comfortable and not as convenient as some of the IEMs, like the Loki, for example, which is what we're gonna get into next. Now uh, you can go Loki compared to the yeah. um, LCDX. Uh, this is the first one, again, where I could be like, this is like clear. And again, I, I feel like that's a bad word to use because it's <laughs> like not super precise. Yeah. But it literally sounds clean. clean. Yeah. Super clear, all yep. the vocals are great. Yep. The tuning on the lower end definitely seems, again, like kind of more neutral, a little bit flatter. And then yeah. the treble response is really good though. I feel like this is like the closest competitor to the Helios so far. But overall, yeah, like really, really super, super detailed treble, um, really airy. I don't get mm. like the same sparkliness as I do in the Helios. I think like these are the two kind of benchmarks I have for, ah, for the like treble. treble. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. How, many, how much do you think those are? Uh, I'll call it $1,300. $1,300, okay. 1300 I, But also, another thing about the, these are the only pair where I was like, okay, it's kind of boring. Do you like these more than the Monarchs? Less than the I Monarchs? I don't, no. I no, like, I like the Monarchs more. again because you get that physical bass rumble. You get yep. a little bit of the mid-range without yep. being too much. And then... Um, but. This treble would be better or? Treble is better. Okay. It's, it's a lot yeah. smoother than the Monarchs. Yeah, what do you think of the Loki? For the first time since footage rolled, 
soundstage. I'm not in the vocals are very close, but other times, like I was, I was switching tracks and, and I remember one track I was thinking like, it sounds really far away. Am I actually playing through my phone or not? And I just skipped ahead and then yeah. like, oh no, it is playing through. The depth is there. The depth is, the depth there, is there, yes. Maybe I think the impact for mid bass was a little bit soft, but other, that's a very tiny quibble. I can complete, I can live with it. I would buy this. <laughs> How much do you think it is? I'm going to say, 1.5 grand. Yeah. How, how do you compare it to your LCDX? LCDX? Yeah. Uh, the LC, I think camera wise, it might be slightly, very slightly better than my EQ LCDX. Oh, cool, interesting. Yeah, but my LCDX has a beat in terms of the bass. The bass is a bit faster. Okay. Yeah. So the case. Yeah, the case. Better decays. Because it's a plane art. Like, Probably it's a because huge plane art. It's a, it's a very big plane art. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. All right, Max, what do you think of the low key compared really, to the other ones? I really ones? like these. I think these are yep. really, really good. I prefer these over the Evos. It's just like cleaner. I think that on the Evos, there was yeah. a little bit too much sub bass. Ah, okay. I think sub bass, I think is what it is. The vocal just feels less bright, yeah. and just less clear, like okay. more muffled, yeah. which I think uh, it didn't happen on these I mean, low keys. It sounds super clean. I think it sounds better than Helios as well. Everything sounds like the cleanest thing ever. Ah, like on color, like neutral. Yeah, color. yeah, super, super neutral. I think that's my preference, right? Ah, I like neutral sound. With, uh, with Evo, it's a bit warmer, and I don't like that as much. I think these are really, really, really good. How much do you think they are? I haven't guessed the Evo price, but I'm gonna guess. Right, how much is the Evo, do you think? I'm gonna price them on how much I think they should be worth. Okay. Uh, I think Evos are like, 800. 800. 800. Okay, damn. I think huge okay. price because of my preference. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think low keys would be, I'll put low keys around the same price as these. 2K, 2K-ish? Okay. They serve different different purposes, but yeah, yeah. yeah. 2K, 2K. Yeah, so the Lokis are a very solid set, clean and neutral for the most part, with a slight tremble emphasis. It's very clear, super neutral. Well, not neutral, but like super clean. If I could compare it to a beginner alternative, it'd be similar to the Sonus, but you know, obviously way better low end treble and just a lot more resolving just in the tech. So if you like a clean and kind of neutralish sound, like Max said, then you better have $3,000 ready. But as Sam pointed out, don't expect anything special. It's similar to an like adjusted Harmon, I would say. It does have a good stage depth, like Hang mentioned, and just overall still very solid set, but <laughs> probably not worth $3,000 retail. I mean, if you can find a good deal for them, give them a shot, but yeah. Let's move on to the Evos. These ones are my favorite so yeah. far. So I think, far. Like, okay. I'm listening to my one of my favorite songs. I listen to this song like a lot. The best way to describe these are like if you take a photo on your iPhone and yeah. you just press like the enhance button. Oh shit! Like it's the AI enhance. It's like the AI sharpen. enhance. Like it's yeah. like sharp. It's uh, like every word that I can use in my toolbox. It's detailed. Bass decay is really quick. It's really dialed in there. Like yeah. it's quick. Okay. You don't get the boominess that comes with like that. The the warm, super clear, super high resolution. I'd say it's like a slight V. Slight and v? the reason yeah. I say slight V is because you still get that driving kind of mid mid bass section. And it's just like a lack of Yeah, it. it's a lack of And I listen minutes. to a lot of electronic music and a lot of like those kicks kind of sit in that range of like uh, 150 to yeah. 300 hertz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, uh, I don't feel a sense that that's getting sucked away. If only right. there's no driver flex, yeah. man. If they fix the driver I, flex, the, even it'd that, be unsolvable. So, you, there could be two times as much driver flex. I would still really? use those I would still use them. That's okay, how, how much do you think they are? How much do you think? This is like high, touching the high end of like 1.8 1, 1. 1, 1. 1. 1. 1. to like 2. Uh, if it was above two, I wouldn't be like surprised. I, and I've tried, so again, I've, I've listened to the Empires once already. The yeah. driver flex on these is atrocious. Yeah, they're it super It is ridiculous. Bad. I am not somebody who even like, like cares like, about driver flex. I press into it, I hear like that. Like that. Mm. Is that, is that <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sounds like there's somebody inside my ear. Like, yeah, like pushing it. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of the uh, Evos? Evo? More V-shaped than the Loki. Because of that, the mid-range takes a bit of a back seat, but it is more detailed. Okay, like more yeah. resolving, right? More resolving, yeah. So okay. I can hear, better hear stuff. I would say tuning-wise, because it's more V-shaped, I would actually prefer the low key. Maybe better? Even mm -hmm. though this is more resolved. Ah, okay, interesting. Yeah. What do you think of the, like, the soundstage? You were saying the low key actually has yeah. the soundstage, right? Yeah, I think they're about on par, which is to say... Oh, okay, that's good, good then. Yeah, 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 very good. And what about the bass? There's more quantity. Yeah. And I think overall it's just better bass. Better bass? Like... Yeah. Like faster, you were talking faster, about? Faster, I think better. Yeah, faster, more. It's better extended, I would, I think. Overall, I think if it was just had a more, less V-shaped tuning, I don't I don't know if I would call it spicy. I just think I would like more mids. It's just, everything is great, except there was a frequency range I think was- I'm missing. Mid, 
more volume. Yep, that's probably the yep. 800, 1000 yep. 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 How much do you think those are? It's Empire years, so. <laughs> True. Two to three K. <laughs> okay. All right, so aside from the worst driver flex like I have ever heard on any IEM period, like if you move your head, you're gonna feel it like flex. The Evil is a pretty fun listen aside from that. Slight V-shape, but still very well controlled with slamming bass like Sam and Hang mentioned. The upper mids does get sharp on certain tracks. It's a little bit too boosted like sometimes. This is a mid volume set, but the trade off for scaling is that things appear to be more resolving or I guess, you know, more enhanced as Sam and Hang mentioned. The bone conduction drivers actually make a difference. Like I can I can actually feel it. It's not just like some gimmick like some of the other IEMs. And overall just a very engaging, exciting, probably the most aggressive out of the bunch and even more aggressive than the Gaia, which I didn't think it was possible. But it does do something different than all of the other ones, which are just more balanced and natural. And you know, if this is your thing, give it a shot. It is like 3K again, very expensive. But if we're speaking about a natural sound signature, then it's storm time. Storm. Storm? Storm. <laughs> I'm going to compare it against my LCD, uh, EQ LCD X. It's extremely similar to it, except I yep. think I'd... the very small details, like the breathiness on like when you say the last line of a lyric. Yeah. I think it's a bit better. On the storm. On the storm. Yeah. yeah. And in terms of everything else, like frequency response, how hard the bass hits through decay, everything is great. Honestly, when I first heard it, I thought it was kind of boring. And then I kind of listening, I realized it's just effortless. Yeah, it's effortless. Uh, that, that's how I describe it. Yeah, yeah. it's effortlessly good. It's just so good. <laughs> it's that just, it's so just good. Like, oh, it's just ah. good. It's just good. Highest praise. Highest praise. It's just good. It's super natural. Yeah. Timbre's great. Everything is, everything is great. No words. No words. No words. Honestly, sometimes that's just all you have to say. Sweet. True. <laughs> True. How much do you think the storm costs and how much do you think it should cost? Uh, honestly, I would believe you if you told me that was a four grand. I, oh, shit. So it's, it's like kind of worth it a little kind bit. Kind of worth it. Like, I think <laughs> maybe on the initial impression, I would say this is a two, three grand. And then like, give me another minute. I'm like, oh, actually, you yeah, nuances. I, can believe, I can believe a 4K. <laughs> Good salesman. <laughs> so this might be controversial. Oh, okay, I'll okay. I, 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 get I, I, the I. get the knife. These did not like wow me as soon as I put them in though. Again, I think True. like the other guys. True. It's like what made me like really get the wow factor from these was yeah. listening to um, like the snares and the cymbals. Yes. Which is yes. usually the cymbals, bro. You know, it's super. You get a lot of transients usually with cymbals, right? Yeah. Usually with producers, they have to either like cut some of the frequencies so that cymbal roll off is smoother or they just kind of keep it raw and you get a lot of like transients going between yeah, the yeah. cymbals this the song sounded completely different on these and i was like i was almost taken back i was like is this the same song that, because, that's my same impression yeah because like the cymbals <laughs> cut through so clear and yes. like, the decay was so clean yes. it sounds like a different song Agreed. and so i went to like a live recording um of a men i trust the same fucking band okay. <laughs> uh so live recording the vocals were amazing yeah. so especially when the female vocals is crazy and that's where i get to the hard part because it's like how do i quantify this ah uh, true and so <laughs> again like the empire year is my favorite going in and again i think that's because of it's, it's just a more exciting sound you get definitely more of like a low-end uplift on yeah, those this is definitely not as like v-shaped yeah this sure. is way more neutral sounding when i was listening and focusing on the bass i didn't like i wasn't like super excited i didn't get anything that kind of like stood out to me on the bass side so yeah, i think yeah. that was a letdown here for me right right Right. Especially on the mid bass, the right. low bass, it's kind of just like, okay. Yeah, I feel like they should have used just DDs at that point if you're custom making. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I mean, all of that is like a moot point when you get yep. to any of like the acoustics or yes. anything kind of north of that uh, 650 kind of kilohertz region. It's all like perfection. It's yes. like the best I've heard. It's, yeah, agreed. <laughs> and so it's like... Uh, <laughs> Would I pay $5,000 for a headphone that I could listen to like half of my library on? You know, if I'm pricing it just based on that and assuming it wasn't limited run. Yeah, yeah, I would guess this would probably be kind of in the $2,000 region. Okay. Just because of like how well the tuning is done on the upper end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I haven't heard, out of all like the stuff I've tried today, I haven't heard anything similar to it. It's in, like really is kind of incomparable. Is it $5,000 worth? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think but, it is. But, but it's, it's, it was, I'm, I'm glad. It, the difference is definitely there. It's there. Yeah. 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 The symbols like, I literally, like the symbols like blew me away out here though. Yeah. And it's like that, I think that just speaks <clears throat> to like the, level of tuning that they got in the upper yeah room. the refinement yeah for me i think for everything else i was listening to like flaws yeah stuff it does well for that i was just enjoying i was just vibing uh 
It's been a while since I've listened to Monarch, actually. A couple of hours ago, I think. Uh, let me think. So, Monarch is like budget storm. Yeah, it's a high price to the audio, I mean, goddamn. Like one fifth of the price, let's one go. One fifth of the price, yeah. I, I own, I can say I own one. I can't say yep. I own a store. Storm type. Ooh. Stern, storm type. I think, uh, in terms of the height there, yeah. it, didn't let me, it didn't let me down, I think. It, oh, Ooh. let's go. You know, as a non audio file, I think, I thought, you know, at this price point, I wouldn't be able to tell a difference. But I can still tell a difference. It just felt oh, shit. super, super natural, hands down. Like, it, it's like that but without the, uh, the sound stage. But the crashes thing though, I didn't know what the hype was about. Really oh, simple. Mm -hmm. It just felt more natural to me. Again, everything yes. just... Because this man didn't hear Shetty KZ yeah. symbols. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... yeah. That's probably why, it's probably the music. Yeah. This guy's progression is hype too. Monarch, uh, Prestige, and a store. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't say 5K though, again, same, probably agree with, with you guys. Not, uh, another thousand more. So like so like three three, three two three three point four three max po like three point four very specific five k that's like twice as much with the hype with the hype I think yeah these are pretty good and when I say pretty good they're probably the best IEMs I have ever heard Sam and I really just got taken back at the symbols like it's super immersive they're just so crispy nuanced tons of decay and detail but still natural and not jarring like these scale very well surprisingly the symbol is just like jump out from Rush of the Sound in the best way possible. Hands down, the Storm has the best treble I've ever heard. It used to be like the Z1R, but you know, Storm takes it over now. I mean, I certainly hope so, it's 5,000 bucks. Resolution aside, because it's obviously top of the line when it comes to technicalities, it's just got a crazy amount of air in the best way possible. I think Hang put it the best. The Storm sounds just effortless and just like, <laughs> it's just good. That's how good it is. It's so good that you don't need to even say anything. Here with the Storm, you're not trying to nitpick anything because everything is just like so well done, so good. Like with all the other IEMs, like Hang mentioned, I'm kind of looking for flaws, but with the Storm, I can kind of just sit back and it just really allows you to enjoy and be immersed in the music. Now, most people won't be dropping $5,000 on these, but I can see why someone would. Like, I wouldn't blame them. <laughs> if I had money, I would probably buy them too. That just, that's how good they are. But I mean, yeah, overall, Super fun experience. Shout out to Guy for sending in the storm. Shout out to Kevin for sending the Evo. And let's get into the rankings and diminishing returns. So Empire's Evo was my number one. Okay. I thought this one was just super interesting. Yep. Um, it's just kind of like maximalism. Uh, Subtonic Storm, it's oh, because, again, it's, it's, it's incredibly natural. Yeah. And it does something that the other ones just can't with the, mm. with the kind of cleaning up that, that top range and, yes, and yes, how yes. It, it reproduces that. So that's up there at number two. Helios is number three for me. I feel like it's like a pretty interesting overall kind of sound. And the fact that it does that treble range so well yep. is, is just a standout for me and it's worthwhile like hang on to those just like to a side that. side grade kind of thing yeah yeah exactly yeah. uh and the pula cklvx just uh, cklvx the pula <laughs> should not be here, but it's, here. <laughs> it's here bro um, and you know again this is down to just like my personal enjoyment how much do you think it was i thought these were like 200 and like Everyone's i on. think these are 250 okay okay we know these are all four digits yes <laughs> that's saying a lot anyways i love the tuning on these um, yeah the pool I, the I think, ckvx and and you described it pretty well it's like pretty dreamy yeah it's very dreamy and i feeling. think like that has to do with the fact that it's not like emphasizing any one of any of the regions over another like i don't yep. get a sense it's like oh this is a treble pair this is a bassy pair it just does kind of everything really well and then the low keys i have these. number five here yeah these ones I didn't get like a ton of excitement out of, I'd say. Yeah. I appreciate these more from like just a technical point of view. Super, super clean. Yeah. And the fact that it's kind of tilted more towards the kind of cold, like a little bit more treble prevalent yeah, yeah. Um, was interesting to me. Top five. Where would you include this? This bad um, boy over where here. Where would I put that? This would probably be, I'd probably put it number three. The stage Huge. is freaking crazy. Yeah. So, okay, so this is 1700. I'm, I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, what is it, Evo? 3K, 3.1K. Okay, so less off. Let, less, less off. off. We already know this is... Storm is 5K. 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 Uh, the Helios is 1.3, I believe. Okay, so pretty close. 1.3. The CKLVX is 150. <laughs> so you were actually <laughs> right on the second, like, okay. on the second guess. I, I'm it's really pretty surprised. Insane. It's that. pretty insane. Um, and then what is Loki is 3, three point something. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, first place. That's the Storm. Storm. Um, storm. Effortlessly, flawlessly good. Yes. And LCDX, when I EQ it, I can get 
close to that. Oh, okay. But better sound stage because it's yeah, yeah, obviously it's, not the same form right, factor, but right. otherwise details, that sort of stuff, it's very close. It can get very close to that. Mm. But at one third the price, so these two, both relatively neutral. Helios and, and Loki, right? Loki, yeah. Yep. I think one's a bit more exciting than the other. other. I think it's the Helios. Yes, it's the Helios. The yes. Helios is a bit more exciting. More, more air. More air, yeah. Yep. I think it's maybe a bit more for me. Okay, a bit too, too much, much for too much. me. Yep. Otherwise, you know, in terms of like, resolution these are both very good and this just has all of it yes this can get very close to it mm -hmm. with eq eq evil is just a bit too exciting for me even though it's has all those also done very well yeah and monarch is basically a lesser version of what these this two are what yeah. these two can be yeah storm i think i said it was four okay four grand four, four grand okay yeah. it's five grand so it's five grand. you're pretty yeah. close yeah and then obviously you own the lcdx I, I own this off. what do you say the low key and the Helios again. It was, I think um, I said those were in the two K. Two K. Yeah, that's about. Well, Helios is one point three. Okay. And then low key is three K. So 3K. You're, you're pretty close with the low key and then Empire years, Empire years. Yeah. So it's three K, three K, and the Monarch is. Uh, did you guess for the Monarchs? I think. Am I said nine hundred though? Oh, that's pretty close. It's nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. So okay, yeah, right on, yeah, right on the money. Oh yeah, plunge. <laughs> Plunge. Oh, oh, no, plunge. Oh, no, plunge. Not the plunge. plunge. Not the plunge. Bad. Bad. Okay. Bad. All right. Could do better. 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 Uh, needs, needs more effort. <laughs> needs more effort. Uh, good, good try. Good try. Oh, good try. no. The build quality of $150 headphone. Oh. It's got the tuning of like... $200. A shitty $300 headphone. Oh shit. Yeah. So a good $50 headphone though? Yeah, so yeah, all yeah. in all, it should be about $100. Bucks, uh, yes. $100. Whew, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all, Actually, let me interrupt. The oh. cable's not bad, so let's let's make it $150. That's a $20 cable. That's a $20 cable? <laughs> $25. Well, Plunge, you heard the feedback. Yeah. Why is it's all the comp? Canadian companies, because 64 yeah. is also Canadian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so I guess like, Canadians like the vocal suit. They like the vocal suit, I guess. For me, and you, and, and you, me, and, 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 and him, and him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Max. Mine was pretty similar, except that uh, Evo is out. Okay, first place is Storm. Storm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no question there, no doubt. Uh, I think it's just supernatural. I've never heard anything like that before, so here, uh, this would just be uh, the headphones here. I think yeah. it's. I think it's a storm, but bigger soundstage a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So maybe not as natural mm, in certain, okay. certain parts. But I mean, I, if you listen to live music, it goes crazy. It goes yes. too, too hard, man. The third one will be Loki. Yeah. Uh, I'll describe it as just clean, super clean. Yeah. It's a non audio file, just clean. I don't know the technical terms. Yeah, yeah. clean is a good word. Super yep. clean. Super clean. And then Helios would be less clean. Less clean. <laughs> but still super clean. So clean, clean, clean. Clean, clean, clean. <laughs> natural, natural. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. Okay, diminishing returns wise, do you think it's like worth it? Like jumping from the CKLVX, because it's like fourth place, right? Out of all these. But just overall value. So I guess if, for example, you know. But there is like, there is the intangibles. That's what I would kind of value the most. Okay. I think it is worth, and I, this is from speaking from personal experience owning yep. the Monarch Mark Threes. Jumping from this to Monarch Mark Threes, there's definitely a huge diminishing return. Like it's like the, it's like almost like an eight x. Yeah, 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 yeah. This achieves the 70 percent, seventy percent of the Monarchs. Seventy percent of what I get from the Monarchs, but like I would spend a lot of money to get that last. Yes, 10%. yes, so, yes, yes. How much do you think the Storm is compared to the Monarch? Like uh, diminishing returns. If if the storm is hundred percent, storm is hundred percent. The, yeah. the monarch could be like ninety-eight. Oh shit! Yeah, ninety-eight. That's really dang. Okay. Man, actually, no, no. Let's ninety-five. Ninety-five. 95. Okay. I was so, say ninety-five. Yeah. Because there is something about just I, I can't describe it, and mm. then the fact I can't do that. Yeah, is yeah, yeah. Way, That's but, fair. But I think you should try other headphones after the Pula to understand like what kind of preference you have before making that jump. Fair. No, fair. don't do it. Save your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> the real, <laughs> real talk right here. In terms of diminishing returns, for most people, you're pretty good right up until around 2K. Everything above 2K, that's a very serious financial investment. And <laughs> True. You, you really need to care. True. And I think most people don't Just care. don't care, yes. Don't, care, don't care enough. enough. Yeah. Yes. It's that's kind of sort of why I stopped here. Yeah, hearing a 5K thing, I can understand why people go for this. Yeah. 
I don't know if I would have, but I'm in a better financial situation now, so maybe. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! Don't think I go home. So low key, Evo is just too too much. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. Yeah. All right, diminishing returns. How much would you pay maximum? Because you have what the pandas right now, P1 Max. Yeah. So I'm a student, uh, <clears throat> not not full time working. So <laughs> if you're talking about diminishing return, let's get these man. <laughs> Let's go! Am I getting paid by them? <laughs> I mean, Might as well all, be. These are all four digits, right? This is like 1k. Just yeah, it's 1k. One, four digits. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, unless you really invest in this, you know, as an everyday law on your file. Yeah. I think this would do perfectly fine. CKLVX. Yeah, you'll be happy with that. There you go. There you go. Any Any last words? I'm still astounded at astounded? the CKLVX. Buy these stuff. <laughs> Buy do, these stuff. Do better. Do better. Do better. Don't, uh, don't listen to these. <laughs> don't, because you, you can never go back. <laughs> True. I'm going to go back, I'm gonna go back to my pandas after this. <laughs> so, <laughs> you just <laughs> cry. <laughs> this guy's last word. Ignore the previous guy's last word. <laughs> I had the same experiences last time. When I oh, did this, no. When I did the videos with him. The, L, the prestige LTD yeah. and the monarchs. And we're just like, ah. Uh, so, regret. Regret, regret. That's what happens. All right. Well, thank you, Max. Thank you, Sam. And thank you, Hang. All right. Honestly, I was pretty surprised at how much they like the CK LVX, which is just like the pull up, but reskin looks nicer and cheaper. And Max is right on the money. If you're not trying to invest in an endgame set, then the CK LVX is pretty great all-rounder package it's not quite harmon or diffuse feel which is why i like them it's got that dreamy feeling to it as well and if you're trying to get into end game territory then i agree with hang anything over two thousand dollars and you're going to see like astronomical diminishing returns actually even with the storm it's still pretty high diminishing returns but it's it's like a more unique case right i'm also pretty surprised that they actually said the monarch you know is a mini storm so Hey, <laughs> great job the audio and Linso. Although my Monarch Mark 3s are a little bit cleaner in the, you know, in the sub base. It's pretty much like a Mark 2, so like it's if you want a mini storm, get the Mark 2s. It was also very interesting to compare the LCD X to other end game IEMs because in my opinion, if you're okay with comfort, weight, form factor and just the use case of like a headphone i would actually get the lcdx over another two thousand dollar or three thousand dollar iem i think the lcdx is pretty close to the storm actually obviously the timbre and the treble detail is going to be better on the storm just like slightly better right but they're pretty similar in the overall sound very natural and the x feels a lot more open because it's an open back headphone i haven't tried any cheaper headphones to really see like if iems are still better in the, like the cheaper ranges but overall very cool experiment Pretty sure I ruined Max's ears. But yeah, thanks again to Guy for sending in the Storm, the Loki, the Helios. And thanks to Kevin for sending in the Evo and the Scarlet Minis. Thanks for Hank and Max for just joining and Sam as well. And Hank for bringing his LCDX. But yeah, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this comparison. Thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see you in the next one.